It is time to swing back the pendulum. We are going to the barrel. We are live with day one of the Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky. No, I just needed to open up. Anyway, I'm playing on a wow. I am playing on a um, PlayStation 5 controller. Now, uh... Hey, yo, what the fuck is this control scheme? What the fuck is this control scheme? No, legit, what is this control scheme? Where's my Xbox controller? Um, uh, luckily I have a walkthrough of the- uh, of course, the game stops. Um... 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 Uh, okay, I'm just gonna... I will... will Square is to confirm. Let's go with it. <laughs> I thought it'd be cross, but whatever. Uh, difficulty. Uh, <laughs> I love that. It's your funeral. May ADOs be with you. For those wanting a little challenge. Uh, where's uh, where's baby mode? Uh, I don't want any challenge. Give a baby mode. Hmm. Daddy's really late. I even got a message from the guild saying he'd be home today, too. Weird how I'm pressing cross and it's it's registering. And shara has gone traveling around the kingdom on some kind of training. I'm so bored. Maybe I'll just practice with my staff a bit more before dinner. Hey, I'm home! Daddy! I'm sorry to keep you waiting, Estelle. Did you take good care of the house while I was away? Of course I did. Did you run into any trouble, Daddy? You didn't hurt fighting the bad monsters, did you? Nope, I'm as fit as a fiddle. That reminds me though, I brought you a present. You really what kind of present? A new fishing bowl, sneakers, something for my training? Maybe I raised you wrong, Estelle. Aren't little girls supposed to like clothes and jewelry? I like pretty clothes, but they just get dirty. And jewelry breaks when you go play outside with it on. Uh. Yeah? Yeah? I do wish the audio wouldn't cut out, and I'm apparently playing it at 51 FPS. Yeah. Anyway, Daddy, what's with the big blanket? Is that my present? Oh, you're a sharp one. Now, why don't you come have a look? It's an unconscious person. What? Well, here you are. Quite a handsome boy, don't you think? <laughs> I love this. Why is my present a boy? Don't make such a fuss or wake him up. Wake him up? You mean he's still alive? Looks kind of dead if you ask me. I've treated his wounds so he should be in stable condition. In the meantime, however, we'll need to let him rest. I'll put him to bed so if you wouldn't mind heating a kettle of water on the stove, I'd appreciate it. <laughs> okay. He sure sleeps soundly. 
and he almost looks the same as the same age as me. This is the first time I've ever seen black hair like that too. He certainly does have a nice dark a head of dark hair. A pair of amber eyes to go with it. Hmm. That's nice and all, but how about you come clean and fess up? Fess up? Yeah, who is this kid anyway? And why is he hurt? Why did you bring him to our house? Is he an illegit child or something? Did you betray him on me? Where have you been picking all these kinds of words? No doubt from Sherazard, I assume. Yep, that's right. For heaven's sake, that girl is going to get me into trouble one of these days with all her nonsense. Actually, I just met this boy while I was out on business. I don't even know his name. You mean bracer business? Something like that. Oh, look. Huh? He's waking up. This is the best part. Mm. Wow, his eyes really are the color of amber. Where am I? So you're awake now, are you? Welcome to my humble home. You'll be safe here, so please just try to rest. What are you trying to pull? Huh? You must be out of your mind. What? Why are you just leave me there to die? Why? Now that's a question I don't know how to answer. Y y yeah. Does things just work out that way work for you? Mm -hmm. Don't toy with me, Cassius Bright. Do you have any idea what, you've, what you're getting yourself involved in? Hey! <laughs> Bounce. You're just shouting a lot for someone who's supposed to be hurt. Running your mouth like that is just going to make it take longer for your body to heal. And just who are you supposed to be? I'm Estelle. Estelle Bright. She's my daughter. Don't you remember me telling you that I have a daughter your age? Now that you mention it. Wait a minute! Don't try and change the sub- Boom! <laughs> Ow! Quit yelling. Alright, alright already. But jumping on me like that isn't going to make me heal any faster either. I don't hear you yelling again, do I? <laughs> Scary. Look, jumping on me like that is just going to make things worse. Do I hear yelling? <laughs> Never mind, just forget it. As a word of advice, it'd be wise not to argue with Estelle while you're in this house. Even I wouldn't stand the chance if I made her mad enough. Yeah, I can see that. By the way, are you forgetting something, huh? Your name. You know that thing that people call you? I told you mine already, so don't you think it'd be unfair and impolite not to tell me yours? <laughs> um, it seems like the logical thing to do if you ask me. Try to hide it now, it would only serve to your detriment. Fine. My name is... I should probably turn off the frame rate counter, but I'm not going to. At least not today. Oh boy! I have a billion and one Twitter notifications! I've seen this opening cutscene like four times. It still amazes me. It's the boy!
I'm glad to be playing these games again. Ah, oh, feels good. I'm actually wondering if the frame rate counter is in the way. Because if it's not in the way, then I'll just keep it on. I need it for Monster Hunter, but this isn't Monster Hunter. Ugh, it's so bright in here. That's a pun. Yawn. Hmm, I slept like a rock. Hmm, that must mean it's Dad's turn to cook this morning. I wonder if that means Josh was still in bed. Ah, I guess that's a no. Well, I guess I'd better get myself ready then, too. It sounds better in uh, TCS4. And 3. But that's PlayStation 4 game, not PSP game. So, of course, it sounds better. Nice, Joshua. Bravo. Good morning, Estelle. I hope I didn't wake you. Now nah, I was already up when I heard you start to play. I can't believe how awake you are though. Even the roosters still have backs into their eyes. Not that I mind, what with that siren song of yours gently lulling this beautiful woman from her slumber. What do you mean woman? We're the same age and I'm hardly a man. Whoa. <laughs> tsk, tsk, tsk. How wrong you are, Joshua. We may be the same age, but I am clearly the woman of the house. What happened to her mom? <laughs> And that makes you something like my loyal file follower, wouldn't you agree? Yeah, yeah, how fortunate for you. You can at least try and sound a tiny bit sincere. Who is a nice tune though, cheerful yet somehow wistful. I like your other songs too, of course, but this one's my favorite. Er, what's it called again? The Whereabouts of Light. That's right, The Whereabouts of Light. I wish you could play the harmonica like you, Joshua. Sound it's a lot harder than it looks. Compared to what it takes to use a staff, I think the harmonica is much easier. It's really just a matter of concentration. You're probably right. I guess my problem is just that if I don't do something that uses my whole body, I start to feel drowsy. Okay, playing the harmonica is fine and all, but how about getting some exercise to you? All their hobbies are sitting around ki uh, kind of stuff, like reading and music. Hey, what's wrong with that? No girl's gonna be impressed with just that. Well, excuse me for being so unpopular with the ladies. Although I feel like I should be the one lecturing you about your hobbies. I mean, what kind of boy wants a girl who loves fishing, collecting bugs? And has a fetish for sports shoes. Oh boy. Er, that's enough talk about hobbies for now. For your information, I graduated from bug collecting a long time ago. Really, I believe I'll leave that when I stop finding beetles in the hallway. Hey, Estelle! Joshua! Morning, Dad. Good morning, Dad. Is breakfast ready? It's ready and waiting. Why don't the both of you hurry on down before it gets cold? Okay, I'm on my way. Oh, boy. Thanks for the grub, Dad. Boy, am I stuffed. Are you, are you eating or inhaling this stuff? <laughs> like people say, kids who eat and sleep a lot and grow a lot. Well, make sure you get enough to eat. But don't forget to pour that energy into your work too. That reminds me, you two are finishing up your training at the guild today, aren't you? That's right. It'll be a review of everything we've learned up to this point. And once we're finished, we'll be braces just like you, Dad. Theres I'm not going to let you treat me like a kid anymore either. You still lack understanding, Estelle. You can only become a junior bracer in the beginning. Or in other words, a trainee. If you want to be treated like an adult, then you should work extra hard in your training to become a full-fledged blazer. Well, I'm not afraid of a little hard work. You'll see watch and see what I'm capable of, Dad. I'll be so successful that, will, that it won't be long before I pass you too. That's the spirit. Let's see what you're made of then, shall we? Is it clapping at 50? 
That's so weird. It is capping at 50. That's so weird. Anyway. Well, let's not start a rivalry here, you two. And Estelle, keep your focus on the task at hand. We have a test later on today, remember? Huh? Wait, what test? Please tell me that you didn't forget about the test, Estelle. You know, the one that checks whether or not we've mastered the skills we've been learning and training. Don't remember Shara saying that if we failed, we'd be stuck with a ton of extra homework? Crap, totally forgot. Now you mentioned it, I guess I kind of remember her saying something like that. Don't sweat it, I'm sure we'll manage somehow or other. Honestly, don't know how you've survived this long, Estelle. Your brain is like a sieve. Papa is sad. How could any child of mine end up with such a careless, over-optimistic personality? Ha! You're the one that raised me, so I definitely got it from you. I swear, the two of you act so much alike, but whatever. We should probably head over to the guild soon, Estelle. The sheriff's going to be waiting there for us. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. You know how crazy sc uh, scary she gets when someone keeps her waiting. Oh, before I forget, it's my turn to cook dinner tonight. Is there anything in particular you'd like to eat, Dad? Any requests? Mmm, something I'd like to eat, huh? How about Ruan style scalloped fish in balsamic vinegar sauce? Oh boy, that actually sounds good! What's that? I think that's a little more than Estelle's cooking skills can handle, or our stomachs. You're right, I just wanna see what kind of reaction I can get. I'll just have the usual fried fish and omelet. No need for anything fancy, but do try to make something edible. How rude. But I can't actually say he's wrong. Actually, I do have one favorite ask before you head out. I'd like you to pick me up a copy of the Libero News from the General Goods Store. We're supposed to be getting the latest edition in today. Got it, one copy of the Libero News from the General Goods Store. You received 500 Mira. If there's any money left over, you can have it as your allowance. However, that means no wasteful spending. Alright, thanks, Dad. Ugh. Okay, we're heading out now. See you later, Dad. Work hard and give Sherazard uh, my regards. Oh, it actually does get in the way. Hey, yo, how do I get back? Oh. So the framework counter is in the way. Oh boy. Hey, I'm fucking dizzy from now. What the hell? Options. Why is the camera literally free rotating like that? Uh So everything just freaked out on my computer? Uh like, literally everything? Oh, my camera's frozen. <sighs> hey, yo, are we seriously doing this?
So the game crashed. <sighs> This means we're going to have to go through the entire intro again. Assuming the game is still... Nope. <sighs> uh, so... The drive is disconnected, apparently? Yeah. Uh... Hello? Hello? Am I back? Okay. The game freaked out, and then my... <sighs> oh, I hate my life. Okay, let's try this again. A headphone warning. Oh, I should just mute the game. Oh, that's great. It disconnected my controller as well. See, the light's off. I, I I genuinely hate everything. I can't skip, by the way. The game's open. But it's not letting me skip the... It, it... And the control is not responding at all. <laughs> Let's see if I can get my Xbox controller to work. Because I, I don't want to play this game with... <sighs> Neither controller is working. Both controllers are on, but...
We need to get through the intro part because I've now seen it f like five, six times and I'm annoyed. <laughs> I love how they didn't include a skip option. <sighs> You know what's funny? I've never had the camera freak out on me like that. But I will reset the game to get it to recognize one of the controllers. You guys get to enjoy this uh, lovely animation a second time. Hopefully the game doesn't freak out on me again. Also, I should probably move the damn thing onto my uh on my on my OS drive so it doesn't keep doing that. <sighs> also, it's weird that it's capped in an actual gameplay to 50. Yes, I'm holding on to escape. Although I think it's funny that Estelle can't cook and yet somehow cooks. Why would you let her near the kitchen if she can't cook? There's supposed to be three logs we're supposed to look at over here. <laughs> I'm so confused as to how my USB device is all freaking out caused my Bluetooth to disconnect. My Bluetooth, which by the way, the stream didn't drop a single frame. It's all one thing. Ethernet, Wi-Fi, and Bluetooth are all connected to one thing. So, it, it, they all should have dropped. Like, the stream should have gone down. Which is funny. 
because you know I'm on a laptop because I'm a scrub. Hopefully I can get the game to work and then uh after they stream I'll move Trails in the Sky to uh the OS drive. Okay, uh options Save Okay. Exit game. Uh, let's let's move the thing because I I I I don't I don't want to I don't want to do this I I I desperately do not want to have to deal with, uh, live no it's Stella. Do folders. How long is it gonna take? Uh. Moving content, moving content, moving content, moving content. Hey, it's actually going pretty fast. There we go. Trails in the Sky is now on the OS drive. I'll move it back later. Um, But yeah. Now... Okay. And now we open the game. Headphone warning. Oh, I haven't. <laughs> I just realized I haven't. I haven't unmuted thing. Um. Play game. Janky controls aside. Uh, um, or janky for me. Load the Bright Family House. Okay. Is it gonna freak out again? Wait, is my controller drifting? Is that what that is? It's possible that it's my controller drifting. Uh. It's possible it's my controller drifting. Hold up. No, the game is freaking out. I don't think it's my controller drifting. But we're going to try that again. Uh Yeah, I'm on mode 1. Uh, why is the Huh? Is this game not dual sense compatible? 
Fuck, it's not dual sense compatible. Because the button mapping is perfect. Uh, my X B. Really? Okay, uh, tactics. <sighs> well, Estelle's the- Estelle's the main character. Anyway. Um. So that's fine. Okay, so I- It's not dual sense compatible. That is why I was freaking out. Now we know. But that's fine. I have an Xbox Series controller as well. Same generation. Anyway. Uh, it was What was the order? Hold up. Uh blah blah blah. <laughs> uh Go to the northeastern part of the property three logs. Examine the top log and middle log, then examine the bottom log twice. Okay, top log. I don't get it. Looking a little closer, there's something written on it. Stupid Joshua. Okay. Uh. 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 Blah blah blah. Refer to the menu up in the right corner. Options, no. Is there a way to set? <laughs> there doesn't seem to be a way to set thing. Okay. Uh. Whatever. Oh, I can't attack monsters out in the... F I don't know if that's a cold steel thing or a... Or a, like, Azure Zero thing. City of Roland. It looks like we made good time. Not too early or too late either. We just barely graduated from Sunday school. I never dreamed we'd... I have to study so hard to become bracers. Well, you're in luck. Today is our last day of training. Truth be told, though, you're the one who signed up to be a bracer in the first place. <laughs> so I don't know why you'd expect to get away with any less effort. Oh yeah, I guess I did. All right then. Let's get to it and make it through this last hazing for Shara. You look ready to me. Let's go meet with Shara at the bracer guild over there then. Uh, it was... Uh, the various shops. Oh my god, you're actually not gonna tell me what the shop. <laughs> Food. Arms and guards. General goods, let's go. Good morning, Mr. Renon. Hello there, Estelle and Joshua. You're up rather early today. Did you kind of buy a new pair of shoes? Now that you mentioned it, are there any new ones in stuff? You know, like the newest? Strike it. 
You are not buying Strigos right now. No. Bad. I believe uh, you've actually already forgotten why we came in here to begin with. We're not in a shop. We're supposed to be buying a copy of the LeBaro news for Dad, right? Uh, of course. You've always been a bit collector of those shoes. I mean, yes, though. No. I'm afraid that the new Strigos aren't out yet. I'm sure after the latest issue of the LeBaro news, though, I should have them in around noon. Noon, huh? That's right in the middle of our training at the guild house. We'll stop by again after our training is over. Sure, I'll be waiting for you. Okay. Uh, there you two are. Good morning, Estelle. Good morning, Joshua. Good morning, Ida. Good morning. Is Shara here already? You know, I'm still used to the angle of the game from Cold Steel. And, well, I mean, to be fair, it's like the first hour of the game. <laughs> I'm just like, I'm still, you know, it's the first hour of the game. Is Shara here already? Yes, she's waiting for you upstairs. Once you finish today's training, you'll be finally recognized as members of the Bracer Guild. Good luck to the both of you. Thanks. We'll do our best. Okay, I... I'm really annoyed that in game it seems to be locked to 50 somehow. Is there a feasting option? Retry offset, yes. Wait, this game doesn't have feasting either? The game doesn't have V-Sync. I was gonna turn on V-Sync to hope th uh, in, in the hopes that it it stabilizes the frame rate, but no. Enough. The star and the hangman, the hermit and the magician, and last of all, inversion through the wheel of fortune. Hmm. This is a difficult combination. How should I interpret this? Good morning, Shara. Well, if it isn't Estelle and Joshua, this is a rare occasion for the both of you to show up so early. Since it's my last day of training, I figured why not. I'm ready to get the show on the road and become a bracer myself. I'll give you credit for your enthusiasm, but I'm going to work you hard today in every way I can think of to make sure that high spirit attitude of yours, of yours holds up. I hope you're ready. I can feel that enthusiasm dropping already. <laughs> Quiet. You. Every time I teach you something, you somehow manage to forget it. This training is my way of trying to keep some of that information in your head instead of letting it dribble out your ears like it usually does. Wow, Joshua! Shara's picking on me. Don't worry, Shara. While I still may hate studying and rarely ever does her homework. Acts rashly, is overly naive, and has a tendency to stick her nose into everything. Her instincts are sharp, so I'm sure she'll pick up on how to use an ornament with some practice. Eventually, probably. Wow! Wait, hold up! Much I can do now, I said hope for the best. Hold on a sec, Joshua. Somehow I got the feeling that you weren't standing up for me. Well, that's odd. I positive described all your best traits accurately. <sighs> My boy! <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. By the way, Shara, what were you trying to predict with your chair? Uh, uh, I don't. Uh, your face was really intent. Oh, this. I was just trying to get a vague reading about what might happen in the near future. Unfortunately, I don't seem to have been in the right mindset to interpret the cards correctly. You couldn't read the cards. Now that's surprising here. Actually, the more profound the meaning of the cards, the more difficult they become to interpret. 
That's not important now. I think it's time we start your final training. I'll give you a brief rundown of all the information we've covered in your previous training. This is minimal level of knowledge that bracelets should have in order to function effectively. And Estelle, make sure you pay clo especially close attention to what I'm going to say. Yeah, yeah. What would you like to know about? Um... Orbits are mechanical devices which operate by using what is known as orbital energy. A variety of effects can be produced depending on their structure and the type of quartz or process septium installed. Although it's only been about 50 years since their invention, these devices play an integral role in all facets of life from lights, heaters, and other everyday products to weapons, magic, and even airships. You know what? This is a more detailed explanation than we get in Cold Steel. I think. Or it might be the same explanation, I don't know. I mean, it makes sense for this to be more detailed than Cold Steel. Cold Steel is like the sixth game in the series? This is the first? In connection, this technological reform is kind of known as the Orbal Revolution. Oh! Okay, okay, okay. This is um the test we were given by Sarah in Cold Steel 1. Braces are investigative and combat specialists who work to protect civilians and maintain the stability of their respective regions. They aid the community in various ways such as exterminating monsters, preventing crime, finding lost items, and escorting people and goods. So class 7. <laughs> I'm gonna make a lot of mention of Cold Steel and stuff from Cold Steel since, you know, I played that first. The Bracer Guild, which has established branches across the continent, manages the affairs of the Bracers in each reason. region. Yeah, yeah, yeah. About the Libero Kingdom! The good, the good shit. The Kingdom of Libero, in which we live, sits on the western half of the Zemurian continent, and abounds with nature and deep-rooted traditions. Libero is proud to be one of the leading producers of Septium on the continent, and is known for its high level of technology used to develop ornaments. <laughs> Ormond technology has also been a key pillar of support for Libero in protecting its independence as it has contended with neighboring nations. Ten years ago, Libero was invaded by the Erebonian Empire. It was the use of orbital powered airships that saved the kingdom from defeat. Consequently, even now, our relationship with the Empire is somewhat sensitive. But thanks to the Queen's political finesse, Libero enjoys peace. Let's see, since we've got a mountain of stuff to do today, I'll let you off the hook this time with a condensed review. I'm going to speed things up now and move on to the practical portion of your training. Uh, Shara, how is today's practical training different from the training we've done before? Since it's practical, that means you will be experiencing things firsthand. Therefore, I'm going to have the both of you run through everything as if this were a real bracer job. So what you're saying is, there won't be any studying at a desk involved. Yes, this is exactly what I'm saying. <laughs> this time you'll have to go out and make a physical effort to accomplish your task. I'll make sure to have you work up a sweat, so I hope you're ready. Yes, that's seriously just what the doctor ordered. I didn't know what I was going to do if I had to sit another day with my tush parked at a desk. I guess I got all worried for nothing. Well, suddenly you're all bright and cheerful. <laughs> Estelle, let's just hope that smile on your face lasts until the end of today's training. Okay, let's get cracking on your first objective, shall we? Let's have at it. Okay, let's have it. <sighs> Your first objective will confirm the details of the job you'll be performing. Before that, there's something that we need to give the both of you. I know, are they ready? Yes, they are. All right, you two, go get one for each of you yourselves. <sighs> These are very important, so make sure not to lose them. Receive the Bracer Notebook. The Bracer Notebook serve as the official way to record the status of your current jobs. Also, anything you may hear, or anything that you may find and wear. These kinds of trivial things can often become clues. No matter how insignificant something may seem, always write it down. Understood. Crap, this sounds like it's going to be a pain. Oh? 
please tell me it was my ears playing tricks on me because I swear I only got one response. Uh, I I'm sure there were two. Keeping an accurate account of events is an important duty for all bracers. So get with the program and stop trying to make this out to be more than it really is, Estelle. Okay, okay, I got it. Uh, I have a feeling I'm not gonna like Estelle very much in this game. I hope I'm wrong, though. Make sure you do. Alright then, let's begin. Look over by the door. You can see that there's a bulletin board standing there. First of all, I need to go and check the job description posted there. When the bulletin board is approached, A will appear. Pressing the OK button will display the job list. By selecting the job names on the list, you can view their details. Training. Retrieval. New. <sighs> The train will involve searching the sewers beneath Roland and bringing back the contents of chests. These are the job confirmed on the Wilder Board and other important events will be on. In the Bracer Notebook. The Bracer Notebook can be easily found by clicking on the Books tab of the Items menu. You can also be accessed by configuring Bracer Book shortcut button on the Configuration menu. Very good. It looks like you were able to see what was posted without any trouble. Checking the bulletin board is one of the most basic functions a, brace a bracer performs on their job. Checking regularly... Uh, hold on a second. My mouth is a bit sore on the left side. And so, just like... See whether or not there are any urgent tasks which need immediate attention is also an important duty for bracers. So I may slur my words a bit more than normal because like I, I have half a mouth right now man all this talk about duty started to cramp my style sure there are a lot of rules to follow but there's an equal level of responsibility in the jobs themselves I think being a bracer calls for much more than just someone with a half-hearted attitude um I guess you're right I'll just have to be more motivated is that so had a change of heart have you you betcha Oh, well, before all that motivation sticks off somewhere, let's get to work on your next task. What will we be doing this time? We'll be heading across the street to Mr. Melder's Orbital Factory and learning about how to use its services. He has Grish taking, the ti uh, taking time out of his work schedule to explain things, so make sure to be on your best behavior. Okay. Here's where you'll learn how to use an Orbital Factory services. At an Orbital Factory, you can modify your orb mitts and synthesize support cords in order to use Orbital Arts. Arts have a wide range of effects, and if mastered, can be extremely helpful. The bracer business is a pretty risky occupation, so the guild has a, had a long-standing relationship with these orbital factories. Anyways, this is about as much as I can explain. I'll leave the technical details to the expert. <laughs> so, Mr. Melders, if you wouldn't mind taking over from here. No problem, leave everything to me. So what is it that you would like to know about? <sighs> now, I know all of this, but... Because, one, this is the first game in the series, and two, it is technically a new series. It's a new sub-series within the overall Trail series. Because you have Sky, the Sky Trail, you have the Crossbell Arc, and then you have Cold Steel. I'm going to go through all this. Once more, for those who haven't seen me play through Trails of Cold Steel 2, 3, and 4... I did play through one, but only half on stream. Apologies, I will play it on PC when I get the big boy one. Or something. I don't know. Anyway, Ormids. Ormids are mechanical devices which exhibit an array of effects through the installation of various types of quartz. By definition, that means that lights, airship engines, and so on are also types of Ormids. However, the ones we will be discussing today are Battle Ormids, which enhance the user's physical abilities and make it possible to use magic. Since each orbit is adjusted to match the owner's personal aptitude, the structures for these devices also differ for each owner. Simply put, the shape of the fixed elemental slots and lines which connect them vary. At any rate, that's the layman's explanation. In order to install quartz, you must first have an open slot. By default, the central slot is open, but the other slots must be open at an orbital factory like this. It'll take a fair amount of step in two. EP, which is needed for magic, will also see a max increase according to the number of open slots. I recommend opening them all as soon as possible. So what is it that you would like to know? Um, orbital Arts. Simply put, Orbital Arts are magic which can be discharged exclusively through the use of Battle Orbits. In other words, a number of peculiar effects can be produced by using the Orbital Energy stored within these mechanical devices. Since Orbital Arts can be a mouthful, they are 
almost universally referred to as arts. Probably ought to have been called that from the get-go. There are several types of arts, but in order to be able to use them, their corresponding quartz must first be synthesized at a normal factory. Ornaments are also set up so that once a particular quartz is installed into a slot, the owner will be able to use those arts. The type of arts one can use also changes depending on the elemental value and the combination of installed quartz. Basically, if you want to use water arts, all you have to do is install quartz with a water elemental value. In reality, ornaments are much more complex than what I have described, but I think this information should suffice for now. So what is it you'd like to know? Quartz. Quartz are circuits made from sepith. Quartz have a vast number of effects and raise the owner's abilities while simultaneously making it possible for them to use arts. However, you will not be able to harness any of these effects until quartz has been installed into a slot. However, there are also fixed slots in which only a certain type of elemental quartz can be installed. This being the case, when you synthesize a new quartz, be sure to check your orbit inside where you'll be installing it ahead of time. As well as you'd like to know about. Sepith! Sepith are fragments of septium which are dropped by monsters. They are divided into seven types. Earth, water, fire, wind, time, space, and mirage. <laughs> so it can be changed from here up almost anywhere, but... At the Orbit Factory, it can be used to synthesize quartz into open orbit slots in which to install the synthesized quartz. So what do you'd like to know about? Nothing. It looks like Mr. Maldives has answered all your questions. If there's nothing else, then let's ha have you both try and use the services here. For that, you're going to need some seven. With that amount, you two should be able to synthesize a few quartz. Now I'm going to begin by first making elemental quartz that will work with each of your particular orbits. In your case, Estelle, any elemental quartz is okay, but for Joshua, it has to be a time elemental quartz. Normally at a shop, you'd be able to exchange Sepith for Mira, but for this trading, you will not be able to use this service. Uh, pressing the OK button will do it. Uh, modify trade. Oh, good work so far. If you need to use your factor, give Freddy a haul over there. Oh. Modify? There's literally nothing. What? Can I just... It's actually gonna make me waste the Sepith. Okay. Time quartz only. No! That's actually anyway. Quartz. Um. Yes. And yes. Wait, no. Modify slot? No. Well, it's a your core, tell you, since you have both recovery and attack arts set up. Here's that you don't need any more instruction from me about how to do this task. If you bounce your arts out between each other, like you've done here, it should make dealing with monsters much easier. Additionally, your bracelet notebooks contain information about which cords allow you to use which arts. If you'd like to use more powerful arts, check out the arts and cords charts in your bracelet notebook and find something that works for you. Alright, our training here is almost finished. Last of all, I'm going to have one of you open a new slot in your orbits. The more slots you have available to you, the broader the range of choices you'll have. Since EP, which is consumed by using arts, can have its max value increase by opening slots, it would be a good idea to open them all early on.
Oh god. Now I use the Sepith and open a slot in each of your organs. Go inside which slots you're gonna open. Modify slot Joshua. <laughs> That's always. Good work on opening up a slot, Joshua. Since you central slot is limited to certain elemental, it would be best to increase your its number of open slots early on. This concludes your training here at the Orbital Factory. Now it's time to move on to what you've both been waiting for, the qualification test. Pardon? Did you just say test? You can't also tell me that you forgot about the test again, can you? Didn't I remind you just this morning? Uh, now you mentioned it, I vaguely remember some sort of talk along those lines at the breakfast table. Sometimes I fear for the future of the Bracer Guild and humanity. You know, Shara, me too. We're not even an hour into the game, and I am... I don't hate Estelle, but I'm... I, I, I'm worried. That, um... Okay, I actually really like Estelle and Cold Steel. Just gonna say that first. But I'm worried my opinion of Estelle is gonna... As I'm playing through the first three games. Like all the growth she's had that we've seen at the end of it, I'm just like, mm. I mean, I guess that makes sense though. Oh well, no sense in worrying about that now. Let's head over to the testing area. Yeah, it's all fine. You mean like now? I don't know if I'm ready for. How about a little less yapping and a little more walking? I'm sure it's just like, shut up, Joshua, help me. No, Mr. Melders, Freddy, thank you for all your help. Don't mention it, and good luck with that test of yours. We'll be reading for you. I'm going to remember that you left me high and dry like this, Joshua. All the has finally come down to this. Your qualification test will begin here. Expect to see both, uh, you both use what you've learned up to this point. Understood. <laughs> What's wrong, Estelle? Uh, Shara? <laughs> what now? I was kind of wondering, but is there not going to be a paper test or something? Did Cassie's drop you on your head as a child or something? You just read what it said on the bulletin board not that long ago, right? Yeah, and? And it even made you jot down what you read in your bracer notebooks. Unless you forgot that too. Pretty sure the job listing mentioned searching for and retrieving an item from the sewers. Ringing any bells yet? What a leaf. Oh, divine idiots. I give thanks to thee for thy infinite grace in bestowing upon us such wonderful gifts of sewers. <laughs> oh my fucking god, I hate my life! <laughs> so what you're really saying is that you thought it was a paper test. No wonder you were acting all crazy back at the horrible factory. <laughs> I can already feel the nostalgia. All those horrible days stuck in a classroom. <laughs> I'm starting to feel like grand memories indeed. I'm really starting to wonder if we'll even be able to graduate at all. What's wrong with you? Why do you have to go and say something like that when I'm trying to reminisce about positive things? <laughs> Alright, that's enough jabbering, you two. This is supposed to be a test, so how about the both of you try to at least look a little anxious? <laughs> Just so you know, though, if you do happen to flunk the test, you don't even want to imagine the kind of homework I have in store for the both of you. <laughs> we'll be fine. Just tell us what you want us to do and let us loose. Well, if you're so confident, then how about proving that you're not just blowing hot air with the results of your test? Anyway, as you both saw on the bulletin board, this test will be a search conducted in Roland Sewers. Your objective is to retrieve the contents of a chest which has been placed somewhere within that area. The layout of the sewers is extremely simple, so you don't need to worry about getting lost either. However, there are real living, breathing monsters down there, so if you get careless and let down your guard, you will be sorry. Also, let me give you this before I forget. What does it look for? It's called the Monster Guide! It's used to record information about monsters and other opponents he meets. Whenever you figure out an enemy's attributes, you should make an immediate note of it in there. It sounds pretty straightforward to me. He controls the flow of inf information, controls the tide of battle, right? That's exactly what I'm saying. If you've really got it, you've really got a good head on your shoulders, Joshua. That's some pretty useful advice. Thanks for the tip, Cheryl. We'll put it to good use. Uh, Joshua means he'll put it to good use. For now. Alrighty then, let's get pumped and knock out this test. Let's. Don't forget though, this is an exam. We should make sure we treat it as such.
Wait a minute. There appears to be a recovery point over there, so we should use it if our HP or EP become low. We're going to try to station the recovery point set up in dangerous areas. As the recovery point is approached, a quiet blah blah blah, blah will display by pressing the K button. Press and all. It sounds like plan to me. Yeah, unfortunately, Estelle somehow has been hurt. Rest. I don't have access to the map right now. I actually just can't see them out. Oh, she didn't get hurt. I increased her HP. Monsters at 12 o'clock. Be careful not to let them take advantage of your blindside. You got it. From far away, they'll come visible as you approach them. The conditions of the start of battle will change depending on how monsters engage. Against the enemy from behind is advantageous, while being attacked by an enemy from behind is disadvantage. Battle order bar. Attack. Here comes some more. Depending on the enemy, some physical attacks may be ineffective. Let's use arts, not physical attacks. Okay. So let's try using crafts this time around. Since crafts have other effects besides just dealing damage, they're worth a shot. Roger that. Uh, blah blah blah. Crafts are big boy, big boy attacks. S crafts are the big boy. Beat an enemy senseless, yeah.
There's two chests. There's two chests and one of them is the uh... Nice work here, yeah. Okay. Another creepy thing. I wish there were an easier way to take care of them. One blow using an S craft or S break should do the trick for just about any enemy. The catches are CPS to be <laughs> At least 100 to pull off one of those moves. These deadly day, we know what it is. Anyway, S breaks are actions which allow S crafts to be immediately unleashed while ignoring the battle order. S crafts which are unleashed on S breaks can be changed by going to tactics and then set S break within the main menu. These are actions which allow us to mm, as crafts which are used as S breaks can be trained for going to t uh, press the break button to unleash an S break. An S break cannot be unleashed when the now press the to try unleashing an S break. You may use the what through four number keys or the arrow keys selected before unleashing it. What if I bought a controller? I'm curious if this game is compatible with the PS4 controller, but I don't have USB slots for that. And before someone's like, well, you have... Oh, okay. So that's the treasure chest we're after, huh? If we made this far, the rest is gonna be a piece of cake. It seems like we've got a little breathing room at least. Let's pay close attention to our battle order this time. There should be a number of ways to get more mileage out of our actions. Uh, you know, let's turn. Turn bonuses of the I missed from right next to it. The cell do be dying.
I mean, if he's not gonna come to me. I'll do that. There's a couple boxes inside the treasure chest. The fact that there's not just one, but two is kind of interesting to you. I wonder what's inside. Remember, Stella, our mission is search and retrieve only. I'm pretty sure looking inside those boxes doesn't fall under our mission objective. You know, fun at all, Joshua. This has nothing to do with our mission. It's what I like to call good, honest curiosity. You know, we're the only ones down here. We can get away with a teensy, teensy peek, right? If you feel like flunking today's test, then by all means, be my guest. Did you just say the F word? Yep, opening one of those boxes could result in an automatic fail for the both of us. If this were a real job, the contents of those boxes would belong to, a cl to the client. And as long as they were nothing uh, illegal, we would have no right to open them. I know you're right, Joshua, but I just can't help myself. If you absolutely have to know what's inside, why not ask Ms. Shara when we get back? But for now, we need to focus on getting out of here. Alright, alright. All right. Well, I guess I get... You flunk, just kidding. No need to stay dying. Good work, you two. As a rule of trading, I'm going to need to confirm the items in your possession. Hand it over, small box type X2. Hmm, yep, they're the real deal. I don't see any evidence of tampering either. That was a close one. I figured you'd try and set us up like that. Congratulations to the both of you. You have successfully passed. your qualification test. You didn't really think something that simple would be a problem for us, did you? So, Cheryl, what's in those boxes you had us get? That's for me to know and you to find out after your training is finished. That's enough chit-chat for now, so let's get back to work. You just still have so many things left to do. Seriously? But you need to say that we passed the test. You still have to learn about how to report the results of your work. I'm aware that you're both tired, but this is no time to shirk your duties. Let's get back to the guild. When is the this day going to be over? Oh well, no sense to in giving up when the fish line is in sight. Great, it seems like we're within reach reaching the sense of our goal. Your final training is how to report to the guild. Whenever you finish your job, it is your duty to report the results of your work to the guild. Reporting how you resolve the situation and the steps you took to get there are all part of your job as a bracer. You can report your results to the front desk in each guild branch, and as you already know by now, Aina is in charge here at the Roland branch. In addition, this is where you will be paid for your work. I look forward to seeing great things from the both of you. Now that we're here, why don't you both go ahead and report the results of today's training. Upon approaching the counter, a talk mark will appear. Pressing on will list options, select report to report to the guild. We pulled. Receive payment for training retrieval. Brace status, rank junior bracer, ninth class. Current rank at the Junior Bracer 9th class. Good job, you two. It seems like you were able to complete your objective without running into any major problems. Another thing to take note of is that depending on how you handle a job, you may see an increase or decrease in the amount of pay you receive. When you report the results of your work to the guild, paying in the form of beer isn't the only thing you will receive. You will also accumulate points, which are known as BP, or Bracer Points. BP are an indication of your achievements as a bracer. When these points exceed a certain value, you will advance in rank as a bracer and be awarded with a piece of special equipment by the guild. The ranks of a junior bracer start at 9 and go all the way up to 1. Please set your sights on making first rank and work hard. The amount of mirror BP you receive will also be recorded in your bracer notebooks, so please ha have a look sometime later on. All that's left to do now is finalize your training. Let's head back upstairs, shall we? I'll talk to you later, I know. And sorry about putting more work on your plate today than usual. Don't worry about it, training new braces is important for the future of the guild. I fully intend to work these two to the bone in any case. To the bone? And knowing Shara, it'll involve the whip. Oh boy. 
Let me say it again. Good work, you two. You have now officially completed the entire training course. From now on, you'll be learning from your own real-world experience. Well then. Hold out two small boxes. Are those boxes the ones? In answer to your question, yes. These are the boxes you retrieved during today's test. You seem awfully curious to find out what's inside, Estelle. Are you saying that it's okay if we open them? That's right. Why don't the both of you have a look and see what's inside? Sweet. Alright, let's have a look. Open the boxes. Junior Bracer Emblem. This crest is. So does this mean that we're... Ahem. Estelle Bright, Joshua Bright. Beginning this day at 1500 hours, you are both hereby appointed as Junior Bracers within the Bracer Guild. From here on, you will work as members of the Bracer Guild to support the livelihood of those around you, defend peace, and uphold justice. Congratulations, you two, and welcome into the fold. Did you hear Dad Joshua? We've become members of the Bracer Guild. So I'm a Bracer now, huh? I think the realization is only now just beginning to sink in. Come on, Joshua, you should be jumping for joy or running around and screaming at the top of your lungs like this. Look at us now, world, we did it! I was happy until you made my eardrums bleed. I need to interrupt the celebrations, Estelle, but I need to take off now. I have some back to work that needs my immediate attention. We have said you have been spreading a lot of extra hours with us during this busy time for the guild. Before you head out, Shara, I just wanted to say thanks. Likewise, I appreciate all the trouble you've gone through for us, Shara. Don't mention it, training new recruits is one of a bracer's many duties. And believe it or not, I was once in your shoes a long time ago when your father, Cassius, trained me. <laughs> So that's why you have so much respect for my dad, huh? There's actually more to it than that, but I'll save that conversation for another day. As for the both of you, work hard to become full-fledged bracers early on so you can help guide those new recruits who come after yourselves. And time, I hope to see you both become respectable bracers like your father. Anyway, I'll leave you with that thought. Um, I just don't get it. Get what? This is Sherazard, aka the Silver Streak, one of the most skilled young bracers we're talking about. So why is it that she holds Dad in such high esteem? He just seems like nothing more than a no-good middle-aged man who's always out doing who knows what instead of being a father. No good a middle-aged man, huh? From your viewpoint, it doesn't come as a surprise that you would see him in that fashion. Huh? Never mind. Let's hurry and head home. We should let Dad know that we qualified as junior bracers. Right. Oh! Okay, um... <sighs> I don't know how to turn turbo on for this game. I'm not going to though. So, congratulations, you two are now official members of the Brace Skills. From now on, I'm going to be passing jobs out to you like candy. Bring it on is all I have to say. I look forward to working with the guild. Okay. I'm going to save right here. And that is where we're going to end off stream today. Um, there's a cutscene um, coming up. Anyway, I will be back. Tomorrow, with more of this, uh, hopefully we do, like, a full-blown two hours or so, but, uh, anyway. Thank you all for coming to the first in, uh, <sighs> a great many streams in Libero. We got three games to cover. Anyway, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.